All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Intel Otaku here, and we are back with Sepia Tears. And we left off at whoever this mysterious person calling our name is. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh huh. Anyway, let's uh get back. Whew. Oh no, yeah, what well, I was about to say. Uh, damn. Yeah, so lately, I've been like, so, I've been thinking about what games I should be playing, like, after I complete this. Right here. <sighs> Visual levels are, like, kind of long, but I don't think it'll last long enough for me to come up with an idea for what to do next. So, like, if you guys, like, have any ideas or recommendations, try, like... Try to, like, give out some, like, ideas, because I don't have a computer yet, so I won't be able to make, play any online games, so until, well, I won't be able to play any computer or PC games, so when uh, I get a PC, when I get a computer, uh, I'll try, I'll play different games, you know, all these other great and new games that I really have not found, well, I can find, I just don't have. Or we'll just have to, either way, we'll just have to wait until uh, I get my PlayStation remote. And that'll be like a couple of days. I think it'll be like a couple of days or some shit like that. Or a couple, yeah, about two, three weeks, because that's when I get my allowance. And then I'll buy me a controller. And then I'll probably buy a, a game. Depends on how much it costs. So that means I'm only going to have like $30, $40. So anyway, yeah, let's start the start the story. We're going to say Mark in a normal voice because we don't know who this person is. Huh? What was that? Oh, it's a chick. All right, cool. I look around and momentarily spot a figure. But it disappears before my eyes. Strange. She looks familiar. What the fuck? Eh. eh, can't be that important. Yeah, it's not important if it was there, then suddenly it's not there anymore. No, nigga, that is super important. Two weeks later, I will look back on that moment as the first in a series of very, very silly assumptions. Oh, the fuck am I so tired? I'm gonna do nothing today. Oh, it's Lucas! Mark, you're actually early! A familiar voice welcomes me in, my, in from the cold. In front of me stands a young man I've known since the beginning of high school and sometimes wish I didn't know. <laughs> one time is more, uh, well, on time is more like it. We have barely five minutes until the bell. That's still an accomplishment coming from you. Damn, son. Oh, hey, did you bring your notes for the presentation? My other friend Lillian voice, voices her question politely, unlike a certain little sister. Uh, well, Rim was on the computer until midnight, and my laptop needed recharging, and, and your house was constructed without power outlets, of course. <laughs> fine, fine, I'll print them out at lunch. And there goes the bell. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually looking forward to a boring lecture if it means I can relax. Man, I'll be one sometimes. Nigga, I'll be sleepy. I am sleepy as fuck sometimes, yo. Oh shit, I did something. Oh, that was my hamper basket. I smacked it with the key. The teacher's voice drones on. Let me turn this down to me. Can you guys? No, no, it's fine. The teacher's voice drones on, and on, and, and what, on. I only know a one way to escape. Go to the bathroom. Jumping out of the window m might have long-term consequences though, so I'll content myself with staring out of it. <laughs> Whenever I'm bored at school, I always like looking out at the weather and thinking about how I would rather be anywhere but here. You know what I do? <sighs> I'm bored in class. I either go to sleep 
or just make up like the greatest fights um, or situations happening in my head that take place in the classroom. And I give myself abilities that I really don't have in real life. Like the, the school, so for some reason gets uh, used as a a safe house for um, thieves, for bank robbers, and now they're in the school. And so they went. I try to save everybody in the school. I don't know why I'm trying to save everybody in the school. I, don't, I should should just like save the nothing. I should just let the school burn. I would have left, but I didn't. I did some kung fu shit and I dodged bullets. All right. Although fortune has treated me with nothing but a sadistic little sister and a pile of unfinished homework this morning. So maybe I'm better off in class after all. Mark, am I hearing things? Mark, it's just like this morning. Is this someone's stupid idea of a prank? I'm sure it's some kid with, a no with nothing better to do with their time, but I can't forget that. All right, I know what I have to do. Go to the priest. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pinpointing the source of the sound, I spin around and glare at my target. She's not getting one from me this time. <clears throat> the class stares at me. Lucas turns around. I sit back down. Awkwardly. <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Eee. Oh, mm, that's hilarious. Lunch, finally. No matter how many years pass, nothing beats the taste of cold meat and freedom. I don't want cold meat. I want a steak and cheese sandwich because those are fucking delicious. I hit my tablet. How the fuck? Okay. Lucas, it's quiet. Lucas sighs audibly, and I follow. I still don't get how Rain can sacrifice her lunch break to study for a test when she hardly studies at home. And it's far from the strangest thing she's done. Point taken. Dot, dot, dot. So how was that game I let you? All right. To be honest, I'm not really into those dating sit. They're not dating sims if they don't have statistics. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll check it out when I get time. Right now I'm busy with, I was about to say schoolwork, but that lie won't last a second. Stuff, yeah, stuff. Mark, you do know what this means, don't you? I really think I can see the sunlight clean off of those glasses. This means that you have yet to experience modern Japanese visual novel, visual culture in all its glory. Can you please shut up now? Surely you found yourself taking a peek at Rin's DVD collection at some point in the past 16 years. Have you ever felt discontented with the path the story takes? I'll take that as a no. Protag protagonists always have plot armor and suspense stories and the main heroine Heroin always wins in romances. Even aside from being dumbed down by the awkward transition between two inherently different mediums, have you ever felt like the story isn't working? Does it not feel like the main character is a brainless idiot and you could do a much better job than him? He is hitting this shit on the nail! I feel like that all the fucking time, like, nigga! If you see the person running at you, he's just like. Oh, shit. I'm running right now. If you see the motherfucker running at you, and they they about to kick, and they take a super long time to kick your ass, nigga, don't just sit there and wait for it to hit you, nigga. Dodge. Go. We go. We. What you're gonna do is do like Piccolo says. And dodge! Okay? Krillin's good at dodging. Piccolo's good at dodging. Vegeta's good at dodging. 
Trunks is good at dodging. Goten is good at dodging. Trunk. I already said Trunks. Goku is good at dodging. Yajirobe is good. No, no, it's not. Yeah. No, no. Tien is good at dodging. Chaozu is good at dodging. The only three people who are not good at dodging are Yamcha, Yajirobe, and Gohan. Kid Gohan, anyway. All right. It's like when you freaking watch all uh, freaking um, harem animes. I think yeah, yeah. It's like like, dude, it's right there, man. It's right there. Just she she's throwing it at you, man. And you're all like, I don't know. And no, nigga, it's right there. She's throwing it at you. She's literally throwing herself at you, nigga. You just like, let me just weave this shit right here, but won't weave a goddamn kick or a goddamn punch, nigga. What the fuck is this? I'm gonna continue reading, cause this is... Keep going, Lucas. Keep going, my nigga. Have you ever felt like giving that idiot idiotic protag a punch in the face and telling him to choose the shy, innocent library girl over the deceitful One Onechan ch char ch character who can't go on a date without thinking about her little brother? This statement may contain a slight amount of bias. <clears throat> At any rate, there's only one solution to problems like these. You play the game. Dot, dot, dot. I sense an evil chuckle as he finishes, as if he wants to add, and soon you'll be just like me. Well, like I said, I'll get, get to it eventually. Lucas kicks his feet up. It really is a good game, though. And the school uniforms kind of resemble ours, don't you think? As much as I hate to admit it, he's right. Our school is infamous for its elaborate uniforms that don't match its academic reputation. That isn't going to make me play it any faster. Then I'll bother you every day until you do. Do you dare to underestimate, underestimate my persistence? The bell signals the end of lunch and we, had, and we head to class. Away from each other, thankfully. Okay, so that, that was good. I did it. It took a few years, but I did it. I made it back, and it won't be long before I talk to him again. A clock ticks in the background as a girl gazes pensively out the window. I'm getting nervous about thinking about it. Nervous and a little excited. It's been so long. What'll I do if he's changed? This whole plan would be pointless. I have to stay calm. I know what I'm doing, and I've thought it all the way through. Just stick to the script. But I'm nervous. So, so, so nervous. Did you like my female voice? I'm very good at it. I like sunsets. I really do. I could live with, without long walks on the beach, but sunsets, they're special. Cliché doesn't have to make things less special. Not that it matters much. Storybook romances stay in the storybooks. It's just nice to catch a glimpse of stories sometimes, be it the iPod shuffle, God's granting divinely selected background music for perfect twilight after a day of rain. Phew. Oh, shit. Phew. Thanks again for the help. Don't worry about it. It's not like I have anything better to do. I slide down the window sill, but my feet hesitate. Something about the red tint of the classroom and Lillian's smile is discomforting. Oh, that's so mean. Discomforting and uncannily familiar. Does the school library always get this much work? I can see why you asked for a hand. No, the library usually maintains itself with the help of the teachers. We just have some extra things to take care of before the end of the term. Paperwork, mostly. Sounds tough. All work and no pay. I think you mean no play. 
Wait, you're getting paid? No, but... Well, there you go. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Alright, fine. You win this one. Anyway, as I was trying as I was trying to say, I don't mind the extra work. We help out because we want to, right? We help out because we want to. Oh wait. That's just see she she shifted positions and I automatically started over. God. Those nice to have an extra pair of hands from time to time. Uh, right. Besides, you always end up owing me favors. This is just one of them. Anyway, shall we head home? Yeah, let's go. I grabbed my bag and rushed to, the, to hold the door. It can be nice to stay back after school, can it? On the occasion, the weather is nice today. Oh wait, wrong voice, god fuck. Oh, okay, we're starting over, go back. On the occasion, the weather is nice today. I try to say something other than the weather, the, than the weather to comment on, but it's always cold in the winter. But it feels good when you're inside. It's like holding, looking at a snow globe. Uh, does that make sense? Now that you mention it, it, don't. I don't think it does. It made sense in my head. Don't worry about it. I know what you mean. Do you? I think. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Awkward silence. What? It couldn't have been that important, right? I suppose. Lillian smiles wearily about something and walks up ahead. Frizzy hair lit by the sun. We walked along for the next few minutes and I tried to nonchalantly wave goodbye. Oh, wait. I think I, no, we're gonna finish this one, then I'll stop the video. I can't shake the feeling that something was off about her today. Maybe I'm imagining things thanks to that voice in my head, but she almost seemed as tense as me. <sighs> I'd better head back before Rin starts worrying. I turned to walk home, but. Mark, Mark, Mark. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, that's it. The world just isn't normal today. Mark, Mark, Mark. I have to do my own echo. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting to the bottom of this. Dot, dot, dot. I walk for a few seconds and pretend not to notice before spinning around. Caught you, bitch. It's a girl. She sends out long purple hair and a red ribbon swaying in the breeze. She reappears in an alleyway to my left and I see her lips move. Ooh, me. Low me. Low me? What the fuck? I feel so uncomfortable right now. That could be taken in so many bad directions. The minute I step toward her, she, she points to her right. Oh, follow me! Okay. Mm, I'm sorry, guys. It's the road that leads back to my school. I look back at her, or at least I would have had she not already disappeared. That arrogant. All right, now she's really done it. I'll run through this town all night if I have to. All right, we're going on the chase. Next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, uh, this is we're gonna stop this video here because I'm a fucking asshole. Uh, we're not. We're gonna find out who she is till later on. Um, and until then, uh, we're going to. I'm just going to. Ah, I fucking forgot what to say. I need. I need every. I need a lot of things. I need to get this on my head under control, man. Work, brain, work. I tell you guys about my yeah. Uh, oh yeah. All right. So guys, 
Um, if you no, no, that's not what fuck up. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to say. It was something else. Oh yeah, I think I've taken enough days off of Five Nights at Freddy's. I think I'm gonna start that videos back starting tomorrow. What's today? Tuesday. Yeah, I'm gonna start those back tomorrow. So, uh, uh, if you okay, and so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, like it, share with your friends. Comment and subscribe. Well, you don't have to comment, but subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, see ya.